Hey yo, what is happening people? LP here reporting from the Hashtag United channel. We have some more content for you today, some different content. I'm actually down at the Hashtag United Women's Training Session. You probably can't see there behind me, but I'll overlay some footage because I'm a nice person like that. Uh, we are looking to give you more content. Yes, you've heard that correctly. More content on the Hashtag United channel. Something that we've not been able to give to you is enough women's content. We give you the live streams. If you're a member, you'll be able to watch the live, uh, the home live stream games uh, of the women's team and obviously the uh, the men as well. But for this, Alex, the captain of the women's team, she actually posts her vlogs. And if you're not subscribed to her, what are you doing? Go and subscribe. She's bloody brilliant. She's amazing. She's basically me, but for the women's team. She used to play for the women's team uh, and until unfortunately she got uh, diagnosed with a heart condition which then means that she can't play football. But however, she loves the club and all the girls love her and she's perfect for it. So she actually tells the story. Now what we're going to do is actually post a monthly roundup of those uh, clips that are being put out and we'll obviously put in some of the goals from the streams as well from, from the home games. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into the month of August. Hey you guys, it's Big Al. It is game day today, first game of the season. We're here at Cambridge, take on Cambridge City. Girls warming up behind me. It's been a long, hard pre-season and we've played against some really tough teams, but now it's time to get down to business. So yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Let's go. First ever Hashtag United Women's Academy winner, Ellie. I wanna hear your highlight and your trough, your worst part of pre-season so far. What are you thinking? Oh, <laughs> highlight is how much we've grown. Okay. Um, the start of pre-season till now, yeah. as a team. And then I would say, oh, we'll try. Fitness, fitness. Fitness, fitness, fitness. Yeah, fitness. So you're excited for today? Yeah. <laughs> so we're in the FA Women's National League Division 1 South East, which is basically the fourth tier of football. So the way the pyramid goes is Tier 1 FA Women's Super League, Tier 2 FA Women's Championship, Tier 3 is the Premier Division North and South, and then below that is Tier 4 where it's split further into four divisions, and that's the league we're in, and obviously we're going to be pushing to get back into Tier 3 this season. This first 10 minutes have been mad. We've definitely edged the possession, but going forward, it's just not enough in the final third and we're just ending up giving the ball away. Um, we've also had a good penalty shout. But yeah, more to come. Come up! Come on, Flash. Oh. Some of us are just completely forgetting how to play football at the moment. You're not working hard enough. The two yards off your mouth. You need to get closer, you need to pass earlier, you're not popping it, you're getting it under control, you're having another touch. Sort your game now, you're better than you. You're giving them opportunity. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, Kel. Oh. 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 And I think she's playing the gold medal. Okay. You know, we had to deal with a bit of adversity and we dealt with it. We actually looked quite strong with 10. No check, we took pretty good chances. Killed the game off nicely, managed it well. Full time here, 3 1 win. Despite going down to 10 men, we still look strong. And we've broken the curse. We have lost the opening game for the last three years in a row. Jem is the brace scorer. You scored two, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Women's football deserves to be celebrated, but not everyone agrees. Introducing the players. 
Hashtag central midfielder Gemma Abella. Nice. That's how it's done. Fair play. Ready to eat your words, lads. Humble pies on the menu. That's why we're here, to celebrate the game. First half wasn't how we wanted it to be, um, considering what we played in pre-season. Maybe it was nerves, maybe it was a mixture of a lot of new players coming in, um, but we didn't quite create the chances we wanted. Second half, we reminded them of, you know, how good they were and um, managed to walk away with a 3-0 win. Deservedly so, but <laughs> in that game we had uh, our captain Grace was sent off. Um, deservedly so, Grace, as well. Um, and that obviously kept, us out, kept her out for the next game, um, which was against Actonians. We're underway here. Actonians in the red and black. Hashtag in the beautiful yellow and blue. I don't mind you giving it away, but don't give up! And I'm not sure what they're doing defensively there, but you've got to give Emma Samways the credit because she started the move and she finished the move. Come on, girls! I'm going to go ask me this up. If you give the ball away, you f***ing work hard to get it back until that phase is gone. You do not give it away and hope your mates do it without you chasing back and doing nothing. That is my pet hate. Oh my God, what is happening? <gasps> What the f*** has happened? Oh, drill, drill it across, drill it across. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Oh. Come on! Yes! Come on! Fantastic for the girls. Emma Samway, she's worked so hard to get that ball into the box. And a lovely header back into the goal from Kelly. And the final whistle, three points to the tags. Two goals for Kelly, absolutely fantastic from the tags for their first home game of the season against Actonians. Hey, well done girls. Well done, well done. Kel, super Kel. Oh, thank God. <laughs> time here. We pull it back. 3 1 win. A bit similar to last week. Not a good first half, but second half. We really stepped it up a gear and we got a 3 1 win. Happy days. Nectonians on paper are a tough side. Um, actually, if you look at their record, the only defeat they've had so far is against us. Second half, um, they equalised straight away. Um, probably foot off the gas, um, but at the same time, nice little goal. But we kept to our guns and we played football and then we scored two, but could have had three, four, five at the end. Hey you guys, it's Big Al and this is Derby Day. This is what Hashtag is all about, this game. This game, this matters more than any game, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It matters more than any game. And if you can't turn up for a game like this, then, you know, very competitive, local rivalry, good players on the pitch. Time to showcase yourself, eh? That's what I'm going to say tonight. <laughs> Grace, back from suspension. We're back. Thoughts on tonight? It's a big game. Uh, we're the only two, I think we're the only two teams who are six points. Yeah. Six, so we can't want to be nine from nine at the end of the night. So hopefully we'll come back to about two hours and we're nine from nine. <laughs> if not, cut this out. Binge. Are you playing further up the pitch today? Yeah, well, with my pace and technique. Uh, <laughs> I'm just thinking Super Bowl game. Uh, are you going to score? Always do. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, right. oh, 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 oh. 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 Come inside, look at this bench up. Right, girls, what are the balls out? If I face the camera. I'm <laughs> Oh, come on, come on. Go on, girl. Oh, all right. Nice cross. Oh. 
It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. It's going to be a hard 45 minutes. He's going to hang over by a long way. Yeah. But... <laughs> Ellie, the redness is improving each week. It's been quite sunny this evening, so a bit sunburned. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you can be, I feel like I'm going to turn into She's going to get too bad. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't realise it was already zoomed in. Oh, uh, no! Come on, come on, girls! Run on the pitch. <laughs> oh, that's all right. That's all right. Well done. Oh, um, well done, man. Oh, no. So, for me, um, yes, on last season and the season before, we managed to beat them and beat them comfortably. But I knew this would be a lot different this year. So I was happy with the point. First half, we played our best half of football um, and played really well. Could have gone two, three nil up. Didn't only one nil. When you do that with Billericay, they're always in the game. They fight and they fought to the end and they got a good goal with Zoe. And then at the end, we had two snap chances and could have nicked the three points, but it wasn't to be. So it kept that one alive. The return of Molly Deval. And who's this? Our newest touch. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have the whole family here because Joe's here as well, isn't he? You've been watching some of their games, haven't you? He's doing well? <laughs> the biggest problem with games like today is on paper everybody's expecting you to win. On paper everybody's expecting you to score goals. Right? They've got nothing to lose. Oh, Kel, how's your knee? Ooh. To be fair, that's what's all. You've asked it up. <laughs> Ready for some slides. What's your score prediction? 2 0. 2 0. 2-1, 9-0. Wow, okay. <laughs> Strike. Every time I do badly shooting in the warm-up, I'll do better in the game. Okay, you're going to score today, well, are you? Well, Wait, did you just score or not? Oh, so it's a good day. Oh, Karis. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's Emma? <laughs> We're underway here. It's actually a very good save, you have to say, from the keeper for Kent, and that's a missed opportunity. Malika of India, she's been playing football for a year and she scores her first official goal for Hashtag United Women's Team in the fourth tier of women's football in England. That is some journey she's been on over the last year or so. Malika! Well done, Malika! She told me she was going to score. You haven't scored yet, I'm getting sick of it. You should be able to go back and watch the goal if you're watching the live stream, Aaron. You should just be able to pull it back and watch it. We might have a second one here though. Sasha Adamson in front of a defender. Surely she puts this away! 
and it is in the back of the net. I've got no clue where the Sasha's shot was the last touch, whether it was the oncoming attacker, which I think was Amy Lee Eberhardt, who might be hurt in the back of the net there, or if it was an own goal, in fact. What I can tell you is that Sasha Adamson has started this game very lively. She's won the penalty, which wasn't converted, and she's got, what, at least a, an assist there. Half time here, we're 2 0 up. Again, a bit of a slow first half, but we're making some changes at half time. We need to get the next goal because they have looked like they could get in at times, and we don't want to take our foot off the pedal. No way. Go on. Oh. And Abella goes back to Apindia. Pindia with the left foot ball in. It's a good ball looking for Wellfield. Adamson, one of them could put it away, surely! And it's a deflection off a Kent player. I think the final shot was by Adamson. I think she might have caused two own goals this game with her shots. Go on, Kel. Go on, Kel. Yes, Kel. Come on. Yes! Come on. 4-0, two goals in the space of two minutes. You know what they call that? A misery compiler. Don't forget to hashtag it. You've never missed a penalty in your life? I've had it, I've had it. Well, I, I had it. I had and you it. saved it for today. I can't believe it. I've never taken it again. No, you're not. Adams. She's going to whip it in towards Kelly. But, oh, hello. Amy Lee Abrahart was there and it bounced right in front of her. It's one of those tr difficult ones to read. If she got it on target, there's no way the keeper would have saved it at that sort of range. Yay. Yes. Well done, girls. Oh, you're right. If he's not here, our first clean sheet. Wow. <laughs> well done, girls. 4-0 win for the Hashtag United Women's Team. A consummate professional performance, not even at full strength today. They haven't won any games this season, but last year they were a team that caused uh, a few surprises. Now they lost a few players this year, a few to Enfield, a few to clubs higher above, but I still think, looking at the results, they're difficult. They only lost 2-1 and a 3-1, um, so we knew it was going to be um, hard, but actually it was a lot easier than we thought it was going to be. We managed to miss the penalty straight away, well done Gemma, and then um, two, two goals before half-time. Second half, it should have been 6-7. Um, yeah, that was August for us.